So up to now, we've covered a lot already in this course. We've covered why YouTube, the YouTube marketing strategy, the key metrics to focus on, the advantages of subscribers, the tools you need to use, how to set up your account. Uh, you've done the keyword research now and you've selected a keyword that is really what you're going to make a video about. And that's where we're at now. We're really moving on now to the YouTube video structure. How do you actually plan a video? Um, so that it's going to really get a lot of watch time and that it's going to be successful. Now, I wouldn't agonize over this. Like I said with the keyword as well, you're better off just trying to make a short video, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. Just go through the process once, understand it, and then you can go on to maybe making longer videos if you want or just making more and more videos. So in terms of the YouTube video structure, the first thing that you want to think about is your headline. And what we've said is that the title of your video should be really keyword optimized. And I showed you the example of that for my video, really optimizing around not only this short phrase, the SEO tutorial, but also the long tail, the longer version that people are searching for that term. And as well as being keyword optimized, what I, su what I suggest is that you think about showing benefits compared to other videos in the search results. If I type in something like SEO tutorial, you'll see that you're essentially in competition with everybody in the search results here. So in your title, can you add in as well as being maybe something people are searching for? What is the benefit of your video compared to other people? So SEO tutorial for beginners, people might think, well, this is this one step by step and it's probably more up to date. So maybe I'm going to click on this one rather than that one. So as well as being keyword optimized, if you can uh, really add in some of the benefits or the differentiators into the title, I think that would be helpful, like how to write a blog post, for example, you can say the simple way in 70 minutes or less. And the two minute guide 2015 template, how to write your first blog post, you can see that there are different variations uh, of the title showing different benefits to people, eight secrets to write them faster, etc. I think one of the best things that you can really do is come in and start to look at the other titles to get ideas. So that is the first thing, the headline. Now, once you've got an idea of your headline, what you want to do in the first 30 seconds is to really identify the problem that you will solve. And also, if you can show some visual uh, stimulus to keep people in interested. Now, what I'll show you here is the first 30 seconds of my video here. And by mean, by no means this is perfect, but I think why the first 30 seconds are so important is I'll just remind you of the analytics that we looked at at the very start of the course. And if we look at audience retention, you can see that there's a massive drop off. There's a massive drop off after 50 seconds. So this is why it's so important to retain the retention. People drop off extremely quickly, quickly. Looking at these analytics, what I should really be working on is for the next video, then trying to get that intro a lot tighter. Um, but what I have tried to do at the start of this video is identify the problem. I say that, you know, the most common question that I get asked is how do you get to the first page of Google? And then I essentially say over the next 45 minutes or so, I'm going to give you a very clear and simple introduction to SEO and show you how you can achieve that. So that is kind of the introduction. Just keep in mind, it has to be engaging. It has to show the problem that people have. If they're searching for an SEO tutorial, they obviously want to achieve maybe getting to the first page uh, or ranking their business or something like that. And also I've included the little video here of myself to try and uh, not just have it like a blank screen. And I try to get people, you know, I try to get it moving pretty quickly. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm moving around the screen, I'm clicking within the first 30 seconds. So people are not just staring at a blank screen, hearing my voice for uh, the first 30 seconds. So probably my own video 
could be worked on. But I think if you look at other videos around YouTube and particularly what you click on and watch on, you'll notice that the first 30 seconds usually has a hook and it really gets your attention and uh, keeps you interested. So that is really what you want to do. Now, after the first 30 seconds, what you want to do is really deliver the educational segment, which provides a solution to the problem that you've outlined. And as I said, that doesn't need to be something long like a 40 minute video. If you can solve a problem for them in five minutes, well, then that's perfect. Like something like uh, how to convert JPEG to PDF. Let's say, you know, 50,000 views. And it's very simple. This is probably a one minute, 30 second video. Uh, people are searching for this and uh, it's just, you know, very simple. So it doesn't have to be a long video, but essentially they'll show you how to do it. This is a brief overview and then they really get straight into it there. The final thing there when you're planning your YouTube video to think about is the call to action that you're going to use at the end of the video. You really want to end with a strong call to action and that can be either to subscribe to your YouTube channel, to like, comment, or have that link back to your website there. And the thing is that you will need to have this decided um, before, you know, you want to decide this while you are recording your video. Because later on, once you upload your video, then you can add in these links, etc. But you really need to decide what that call to action is going to be. For example, I'll show you one of the videos that I made and you can see here that inside Camtasia at the end of the video, what I have actually done is put in this option to subscribe. Now you can see here that when I'm making this video, there isn't a link to my website here. I add the link in inside the YouTube video manager, but I have to plan that call to action. I have to record it and include it here and put it in. Now simply you could just say if you're if you're just recording your screen, you can just say subscribe below. It can just be as simple as that, a verbal uh, call to action. But if you want to put in a button like this, you actually need to take a button and you can just go to something like uh, subscribe button YouTube. You can find the same button that I've used here in the search results. You can take that, download it and then put it onto your screen in your screen recorder software. And then once we're inside the YouTube video manager, then you can add that in. Now if that sounds too complicated. As I said, don't worry about it. If this is your first video, you can just say at the end of the video, just, uh, you know, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see the, my next video coming out. Okay. So that really wraps up then the uh, planning for your video. These are the four different parts that you really want to think about. Now, if you are having any trouble coming up with the plan for your YouTube video, what I'd really recommend you do is just come into YouTube and look at the people who are already ranking at the top of the search results uh, for those keywords. So for example, you could come in and you could watch every single one of these videos on the first page. Really all you need to focus on at the start is maybe the title. Look at the titles that they have. What could you add in there as a benefit to make you stand out? What are the first 30 seconds like of all these videos? What do you like from the first 30 seconds? What are the great openings? And I would really take those great openings, modify them slightly. You can use them for yourself. What are the things in the first 30 seconds of these videos that turn you off? Is it something like just a blank screen that doesn't engage you? Is it someone just talking over a screen without moving? Um, I'm not picking on this guy, but this is just things that you can look at. What really turns you on? What really turns you off? What keeps you engaged? And then just model what has already been successful. You don't have to reinvent the wheel and come up with something completely new. You can just look at what's already been successful. So that's it. Follow these four steps. Also look at real videos that are in YouTube to help uh, give you inspiration and ideas. And once you've got that video done, the next thing we're going to do is really upload it to YouTube. And uh, I'm going to run through this process and show you how to do that, how to optimize it for SEO and uh, all the things that you need to do during the upload process. So I'll see you in the next lecture for really YouTube SEO.